G'day guys, welcome to Maddie's workshop and um, I'd like to say g'day to all my new subscribers. Um, what I've got to make is a, a uh, holder for one of these little diamond dresses. Um, I've got a one of my bench grinders got a the wheels badly out around and I just don't like using it. It's just I'm worried about it flying to bits to be honest with you. So time to dress it. So I bought one of these. I've been searching on eBay for quite some time and, and found a, a pretty pretty good deal on this. So it is new. It's a don't know how you pronounce it, Tago. T A G O W6 O. I don't know what that all means, but hopefully it'll work. So, you probably just see me cleaning this up. Um, I want the, the actual dresser to be on an angle instead of directly onto the wheel. Um, so when it does, when I rotate it, it's going to get an even wear, hopefully on the diamond as well. And that's the way the shape I've seen all the others, and that's the reason I put it down to that. Oh, that's the only reason I can think of. So, um, if you went through, if you've watched my other videos, one of the earlier videos I ever done was I built a... A tool rest for me bench grinder and it's got a, a recess in it where you can run a, a jig along there if you can get what I mean it's about 12 mil wide 3 mil deep so on the bottom side of this I'll have a yeah you know, it'll be machined machined out I don't know whether you can see that or not so there'll be a piece left in there that, that'll just act as a guide on the um, tool rest. And um, in the end, what I'm going to do with the, the dresser is cut it off a bit and then drill it. And then I'm going to make up a piece of threaded rod and uh, lock tight it in there with an adjuster on the back, say. You just wind it up, lock a nut up, and you can go along and then the lock nut a little bit, undo the lock nut a little bit. Um, that's a new word, eh? Undone the lock nut. Undone did it. Undo it, wind it in a touch, lock it back up again, do another swipe. So hopefully it'll work. Wait and see. But, um, Give it a go. So I'm going to um, drill this. This is nine and a half millimeters. So, and I've got to put a thread in the end of it here. So I'm going to partially drill the nine and a half mil, and then the rest of the way I'll probably put a six by one thread in there, um, and then we can. And we've got a, you know, a thread that we can use in it as the adjuster side of it. So, why it's sitting like that, why it's sitting like that, I can do this square in the mill and then tip it over and cut these, cut the top off, cut the bottom off, and make up a um, little threaded doovy bit to go on the end of the just on it. And then at the final, probably, um, it's roughly going to be on a 10 degree angle, so I just got to work out the procedure to do it all in yet, um, to cut that, um, cut it away here and put the, the angle on it, that's what I'm trying to see. Anyway, could be a fun little project. Um... I'll go and get all this marked up and 
ready to drill. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I've got a 5 mil drill in here, which is going to go all the way down. Um, and that'll be for an M6 thread, um, which will be 20 millimeters on the bottom side. And then I'll open up the top here to 9.5, which uh, diameter of that little um, dresser is 9.5. Four seven. I've got a six by one tap in here. I just want to start this hole off then I'll finish it by hand because it is fairly close. There's only some uh, small parallels at the bottom. I don't really want to touch the bottom of my vice either. Um, Splendid job, Bob. You can see here in the right line, I've got two two lines drawn. That's 12 millimetres apart, the lines. So I've got to cut this section out here, this section out. I've got to drop that by about two and a half millimetres. That'll leave a raised section at a 10 degree angle to this face. Um, and that, that'll slide along the, the tool, the, the, the um, what do you call it? little bloody the bit on the grinder that bit so my plan is here I'll put the swivel base on the vise I'm just going to swivel the vise around um, and get as true as I can at 10 degrees just by using the graduations on this and visually by eye just put the cutter right down near the line and run it back and forwards and see how close I can get it so I'm going to shift you guys out of the way and I'll get that all lined up and start hacking into it. We're all lined up pretty good. So it's just a matter of now of knocking it down to two and a half mil deep. Um, this portion here and this little triangle up the top. So let's get started.
I've got this side down two and a half millimeters. I want to leave uh, that 12 mil gap. So the actual the gap in the bench grinder is exactly 12 mil. So I'm going to make this 11.95, um, just so it's got a little bit of play. 11.96. It may need a bit of a clean up with the file or whatever just to supersede it, make it fit properly. So I converted that over to 471,000. So I've got to move the table 471 this way. So I've got an indicator set up down here. I'll bring this down. So I'll bring the table back 471. One. Two, three, four, seven here. One. So went to seventy two. So it's four seventy one on the dot. So now um, I can set a zero at that. Set a zero at that. I will leave that indicator there while I'm going so I can use it as a visual check as well. Okay. Um, oh shit. Better take in the diameter of the tool. That was a mistake. Better do some more measuring. Okay, I fixed my mistakes. Yeah, I think I'm pretty much spot on. So it's come in 392 as well. For the diameter of the uh, it's a 10 mil tool, come in for the diameter of that. So I am right now to just keep milling this triangle out here and pretty home and hose. Same 12.04 Anyway, I'll deburr that, it's going to be the best bet and um, so yeah, just deburr it, I think it's going to be the go. What I might do actually is just take a very light skim off the top here just for the fun of it way to debar it wasn't it? Be ready there probably. 11.98 that should should fit. Okay I got a little bit more debar in the door in the edges here. And um, I'll take it out and give it a test fit. Well, that's what we ended up with. And we've got a nice fit. There's no real wriggle at all. Just a real good fit. Just when I go to use, I've got to make sure this slot's completely, completely clean.
Okay. Six point oh one. So what my plan is here is I'm going to put a 6mm thread on this portion and then I'll machine back, machine this centre out of it um, and machine it down to 4mm to slide up the end of the actual dresser and then I can make a lock nut out of brass and put a, pra a brass knob on the end of this lock tied it on and make it look all pretty. The idea is a stainless, if it does sit in the box for a while, it won't go rusty in there. That's what my intentions are. You know, like I try and keep all my tools nice and clean, but some things you just do forget about. So that actually machined really nice considering I've never had much luck with stainless. Um, this is really the first time I've tried a high speed steel on it too. And it has taken the corner off, but look at that. That's okay. We can't all bring that back. That's pretty happy. I don't know, I'm pretty sure we're set to cut a 6x1 thread. Now this is stainless. I've never had much luck with threading this, this diameter stainless. But I'm going to give it another go. So, we're right to do a scratch pass. Once I'm locked in, that's where it stays. Pretty sure I've got everything set right. Pretty good to make. So I haven't got a lot of room up here at the end to finish and to go in on. So it's just a matter of fiddling by hand. I'm just going to take this thread very, very lightly. I'm not going to rush it in any which way. And look at that, would you? Just like that, the carrots all went into the pot. I'm actually quite happy it's a little bit firm. Um, rather be a nice firm thread than a sloppy bastard. Okay, now I can part this off, hold this in a collet somehow, and machine the end of it down, which is the next job on the list.
She's all good job. Well, I thought I'd hit the friggin' record button, but I didn't. Um, this is what I say it was. I've been talking to myself for the last 10 minutes, so 16 and a half mil roughly. Um, gonna be knurled, two knobs out of it. Um, one will have an M6 thread that will act as a locking nut and the second one will be on the end of this so you can wind it for the adjustment. So I do apologise about that, I've been yakking in my way, I'm, we sound a bit, we sound a go mad. Anyway, I'll put the knurling to a line and we'll give it a quick knurl. Yeah, that for a quick, uh, quick knurl. She'll do. Good job. Well, that was easy. Good thing about brass, don't take much. Now I'm dropping everything. So now what I'll do, I'll do the six, the one with the M6 thread in first. And part that off and then make a second one which can be blown out to a bigger hole. Okay, we're right to um, part this off. Now, there's no real, just whatever I think looks by eye is good enough here. Which, you know what? It's not quite lined up. That looks better. Find a knob. Bit of cleaning up. Should be a good show. That's the first one. Now I've got to drill this one out to match this. So I'll get set up to do that and um, right to go.
Now I know this is a fraction over 8.5 mil, so I've drilled this to 8.5. I was meant to do this before, before I finished this off, but I actually forgot about it. So I've drilled it to 8.5. Um, I put the collar chuck back in and machine this down to suit. So that's the easiest way out of that. So now I just got to part this off. And then Bob's your uncle. So I'll use this as a master. I think it's the way to go. Make them both the same. Actually, no, we won't. Now what I'm going to change that a little bit. I'm not just not real happy with the end of that now. That's just a crap now. Let me fix that up. little knob beautiful okay I'm gonna swap this out now and put the collar chuck back on final piece of the puzzle just lock tight this just put a tiny dob of this 680. Um, just want a tiny little Let that go off. That's the job is complete. Well, here we are at the old grinder, and it's um, this wheel's out of out of ram in a big way. So got it finished. Time to give it a go. It does slide very nice. Very, very nice actually. So we will fire it up and see what happens. works and then my wheels back to being round again that's another job finished another good tool to get finished and um, stick in the box and when I need it I have it I've been putting this job off for a real long time and the biggest reason was um, trying to find a, a cheap enough diamond with a bit of quality, not just a, a no-name brand, which I have no idea about what the brand of this one is, but um, it's got a brand on it. That was a start. Um, I don't know if you can see the name on it there. It's, it's Tago. T-A-G-O-W-6-A, whatever that means. So, um, and I bought it off an eBay seller that I that have bought quite a lot of other good quality stuff off. So, look, I'm just running on a win here. Um, Stavely glass. So, um, big thanks to Craig for this brass. Huge thanks, mate. Um, that's helped me out tremendously actually so it's nice to be able to just grab a bit of brass and, and be able to you know make something that you really want 
I could have went all fancy and polished this up and, you know, beveled the edges and do all that stuff, but to me, this is just going to be kicking around the box um, and used every once in a blue moon sort of thing. It's not as if it's going to be used on a daily basis. I don't do that much grinding that I'll have to dress it every day. So... All I wanted was just a practical tool that I could use and grab it when I needed it, use it, put it away. So that's what I got. Um, so I'm really happy, really, really happy. I finally got that job out of the way. And the, I had that, uh, I had that, this Makita grinder here. Um, it's a six inch wheel. Well, that's an eight inch wheel and for doing the the shape of tools the the five eight square um having the eight inch wheel or the eight inch wheel over there having that with a bigger radius is a lot better um i find it yeah and it grinds got more a lot more grunt it just grind with that one it just bogs it you just you can stall it out by just looking at it, really. She ain't got much ground at all. But it has got me out of trouble. So, and it did come with a green wheel for doing the, the carbide too, which that's a bigger bonus on there too. But anyway, thanks everyone for hanging around and, yeah, checking in. Thanks to all my new subscribers. She's over 700 now. We're kicking along just tickety-boo. Really happy. Really, really happy, actually. I never expected this channel to ever grow like it has. Um, so, thank you, everyone. It's, it's fantastic. Really, really good. Anyway, thanks, guys. And um, see you on the next video. Hooroo.